and you bring your quarrel to me. He's selling drugs to high school kids. Not true. He's using an intermediary to sell drugs to high school kids. You make this up as you go along? The man in question hasn't been seen or heard from in over a week. Now I'm a murderer? I didn't say that. I just said he was missing. Tyler, do you know the whereabouts of this man? No. Matt, can you substantiate your claims against Tyler? Not yet. Then back off. And Tyler, you keep your damn nose clean. How old are you? Thirteen. Isn't that kind of, kind of early? Yeah. And? First time's freaky. I don't care what anybody says. Because you have no idea what to expect. Did it hurt? Truth. You know what they say about pain, right? That it's only heat. Pleasure, too. It's just, you know, the way your mind chooses to interpret it. Well, how is it for you? Like somebody ripping the bones from my back. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, is this a bad time? No, not even close. Maybe you're tense. You're not making him tense, are you? Thanks. See ya. See ya. Hey, where are you going? Oh, that's right, I forgot. You're not in this class, are you? Interfering in a police pursuit? Impersonating a local officer? Resisting arrest? Well, I guess the honeymoon's over. Where is she? What happened last night has nothing to do with Ruby Cates. Then explain this. What? It's a necklace. It's a pendant. Whoever you were chasing last night lost it, and it just happens to match a set of Ruby's earrings. So? What are the odds? Well, let's see. Two girls from the same town with identical jewelry? Oh, you're right. Never happened in a million years. You know what I think, Sheriff? I think it was Ruby Cates in that barn. I think she's being held against her will. She got away, and you clowns are tracking her down. Do you have any idea how crazy that sounds? I'll tell you what, you are free to go. With a gesture of good faith. Well, considering you have no reasonable grounds to hold me any longer, I'm grateful. It's the thought that counts. It wasn't her, Detective. Yeah, and it wasn't. Well, that's none of your damn business, with all due respect. Tell me something, Sheriff. What's a runner? It's a symbol, looks like a repeater. It might be a signet, but I'm sort of thinking it reminds me of those weird letters in that Wiccan case that we worked. Yeah, I cracked that one wide open for you, didn't I? Yeah, well, it ain't easy being a genius. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, are you still on force sabbatical? The young coed in question is pressing charges, yes. If you ask me, she's got no sense of humor. What's this world coming to? Mm. Those weird letters are called runes. Yeah, that's right, Rune. So if I send you a JPEG, can you run it down for me? Certainly. You recommend me a good lawyer. She's too freaked to show her face. The whole world knows. She's 16 and she hasn't done it yet. She's so totally late. I heard she was all ready to give it up. But as soon as it came down to the magic memento, she couldn't deal with it. <laughs> Randy said she went totally Blair Witch running through was naked, screaming her head off. Sarah was going to flip with Randy? Well, I guess so. That's a lie. She can't stand Randy. Then who? Come on, you guys are tired. Who was it? I don't know. What makes you think she needed anybody? Ew, alone. Mm. It's grotesque. 
What a waste. I guess that's what happens when you wait too long. Something you should think about, Sophia. Screw you, Brianna. Just talking about it squeezes your juice, doesn't it? Those girls, they're giving you a bad time. If you're spying on me, you've really gotten desperate. I'm not spying, I just couldn't help it. Steve's trap? Over here. Whatever. Those cows. Why can't they just leave me alone? Sarah. Is that who was on the run last night? So it wasn't Ruby. Ruby? This girl, is she in trouble? Maybe I can help. I've got a four top waiting for coffee. Okay. It's my cell phone number in case you change your mind. <laughs> Don't poke around so much this time, huh? It's grown. Golf ball or grapefruit? Well, I'm definitely in the citrus category. No way to know if it's metastasized from the looks of that thing. Plus side, my old pants fit again. People think I actually look buff. <laughs> Every day I see a new article about alternative medicine, diets, acupuncture. That homeopathic stuff's all over the internet. Well, I'm not sure if temperance and self-denial will be high on my list. <laughs> Smoking, drinking, and whoring, huh? That would get me through breakfast. <laughs> How do I prepare, old friend? Well, they say J.S. Bach wore black gloves to compose his requiem mass. Let's pretend I'm smart enough to take your meaning. It's after midnight, it's the best I can do. <sighs> what happens when I'm gone? Does the town come apart? It did the last time. I believe the expression is cry havoc. And let's slip the dogs of war. Oh, there'll be plenty of those sniffing around your throne. Who's got big eyes, Will? Tyler Creed. He'd need a strong ally, but he's got the mandatory lack of conscience. Sheriff? Never do it. Who else? Who do you picture standing there when the battlefield mist clears? My wife. <laughs> okay. Well, let the wheels come off. I hate a dull apocalypse. Sherman? Is there anything you can do for me? I'm just a science teacher, Will. Wait, wait, wait. Asburns won't cut it. I need the Vicodin. So I can see that you're a compassionate person dedicated to your job. It... The doctors know me. They're aware of my problems. Any one of them will confirm that I'm a responsible use patient. I cannot give you 30 tablets of anything without a prescription. But tomorrow, I will walk it in here myself. Okay, how about a couple muscle relaxants get me through the night? No. One. Hmm. No. How about this? You take the muscle relaxants, and maybe your sphincter will lose them for that stick to fall out of your ass. Hi. I'm uh, here for Sarah. You would have admitted her last night. Last name? I don't know her last name. So you're not a relative? She's 16, she probably would have come to the ER. The only person we handled last night was a 73-year-old widow who swallowed her temporary bridge. You sure about that? Afraid so. Thanks. You won't get anything out of Nurse Diesel over there. The real story doesn't start here. I don't think there's a real story anywhere in this town. Are you looking for a missing kid or teenager? If you 
want to visit the graveyard. Not the pretty one by the highway, the one on the other side of the lake. The bones will tell you everything you need to know.